Welcome back to another Cinema 4D tutorial. Uh, this one we're taking kind of camera animation to another level. Just want to show you how to set up a three camera animation or however many cameras you want um, to move around inside of your animation as it's animating. Maybe you want to pick specific particles or a 3D model. Um, you know, this, this is kind of like a Rube Goldberg thing. So what I've set up is just a basic animation, this ball dropping my camera switching to a close-up and then a third camera that just follows it as it hits the wall and finishes my animation. So I just want to show you how to, how to do this. So let's go ahead and create a new. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to make a plane and I'm going to make it uh, fairly large here. And I'm just going to give it a little angle so that my ball is going to roll. Actually, before I create my angle, I'm going to duplicate this um, and make my wall. And then I'll go back to this original plane and let's just make sure that it's intersecting there. And then I will grab a sphere and let's just drag this up somewhere like there. Okay, maybe we'll make this a little bit smaller. So first things first, on these planes, we need to use a collider body. Just telling it this is what we want um, anything that has a simulation tag to collide with. And there are settings in here that we can mess with, like bounce, friction, collision noise. I'll turn the, the friction down and the bounce up just to kind of have it, the ball be a little bit more playful. And then the sphere is going to be the acting object, so it's going to be rigid. So if we just drop this now, we're going to see our ball roll. And let's go ahead and add a few more frames. And it's going to roll. It's going to hit this wall. And it's just going to kind of spin and sit there. Maybe on this wall, let's up our bounce even more so we get maybe like a little kind of, I don't know what you want to call it, just a little kickback of some kind. Let's see what this does. So it should hit the wall and kick back a little bit. Perfect. All right. So my first camera, I'm just going to set up a position right here in front of it. And I'm going to click camera and I'm just going to set that position. All right. And I need to set my ball as being the target. And if I just play this now, I'll have constant view of my ball rolling down and hitting that wall all throughout. But I want to add another camera. So let's just have this play right down near the collision. And to do that, I'm going to jump outside of my camera. And I'm just going to kind of frame this forward. So right about here, I'm going to add another camera. And for this camera, I also need to set a target being the ball, but I'm also going to add a constraint tag to this uh, under character because I want this to be kind of my follow camera, okay? So for this one, with my constraint tag, I'm going to go to clamp and I'm going to use my ball as the target. Nothing happens, but if I play with the distance here, I can kind of set the distance I want for uh, this action to happen. So if I start over, it's going to maintain a consistent distance. So this will be kind of good following the action as it goes down, hits the ground, and follows into the wall. And then for my last camera, I'm just going to add a camera that's kind of an aerial view of my ball and that immediate collision with the wall. So I'm just going to come in here and I'm going to kind of Start right there, let's say, and add a third camera. And we're always just gonna have it as a target so we don't have to go back and mess with the alignment of anything. Okay, there's my last target. So this one, this is just gonna be my boom, collision. I don't like it because it's rotating around a little bit so I might offset this just a little bit. Um, let's just kind of move off to the side a little bit more. Now get this follow in, boom, there's my collision off the wall, okay? 
So to make these work, if we jump back to our first camera, we're gonna go where you see the floor and we're gonna add something called a stage. And for the very first camera, camera, camera one, camera two, we're gonna go ahead and drag in our camera one that we're looking at right now and we're gonna keyframe that. And we're gonna follow it right to right to before the collision, so right there. And we'll keyframe again, and we'll go forward one frame, and we'll add in camera one, and now we'll keyframe that. So this is our bounce and our follow, all right? So you might have to adjust the constraint again for this one. Uh, so we've got constraint. Let's do something like that, and we can actually move it around and we'll set that keyframe there so we know that the position will be down at the ground and following it to the wall. Alright, and then the third camera, same thing, when we find a position right about there, we'll go back to our stage, we'll keyframe, we'll go forward a frame, we'll add in camera two, and we'll keyframe that. And now we get our wall collision and let's just stop it at 100 frames and let's see what this whole thing looks like so boom boom wall collide all right aerial ground aerial again collision okay so this is just kind of you know nothing special happening here i apologize this is not a very beautiful animation but this gives you an idea of you know if you're tracing the path of something through a scene of how to set up some different creative camera shots think like a like a videographer um, and set up your scene in a way that um, would make it more pleasing to the viewer or bring more attention to certain action in your scene. So um, this has just been a quick tutorial. I hope this helped you a little bit understanding how to use the cameras a little bit better using the stage object. Um, thanks for watching.